guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lady Smitten and today I'm doing a speed build of a container cafe which I was partially inspired by Simlessy. She did a container home build recently on her channel and mentioned about looking at container homes on Pinterest and I had a little look myself and saw this really cool uh, container bar, so a shipping container that had been turned into a bar for like alcoholic drinks. But since I personally myself do not take in a partake, sorry, I should say, in alcoholic drinks, I thought I'd make a cool little container cafe instead. And it's sort of, uh, I'll say, I want to say like Caribbean colours because it's very green and yellow in lots of ways, very tropical looking in that respect, which I quite like. And all the random items at the front were the items that I uh, required to make a cafe. So that's why they're just randomly plopped out there. I thought I might as well do that rather than faff around with that later in the video. And here I'm just sort of making the layout of what I wanted the container to be. Those bits at the front and here at the side are sort of meant to be areas where parts of the container have been cut out and then they're like drop down areas. So shutters that you can pull up and down for when you're closing up the shop. That one I make sort of a staying feature. So I'm pretending that maybe there's some sort of shutter in the ceiling bit above it which you can pull down in the nighttime or like the side of the wall which you pull across so people can't like rob the place <laughs> but yeah I was trying out random awnings type things here and none of them worked eventually I just put a bit of a roof on and give it the grated uh, corrugated metal -y look even so it looks quite cool looks fitting uh, throughout this build I have three tables on top of this container which you can have obviously like your cups of coffee or tea or whatever on but I actually have changed the build and it now has a bar instead of three tables so it's got one little bar up there because it looked quite cool in the night time to have that and there is only one screenshot at the end which shows the bar all the other screenshots uh, show it still with tables so if you download it off the gallery which it will be on I'm not sure if it's on now I think I need to upload it still then there will be a bar there but feel free to put the table back if you'd rather just have tables but I just thought the bar looked quite cool um, and it'd be good to like hire a little barista bloke at times uh, not a barista, a bartender a barista comes anyway because it's classed as a cafe so they just turn up and there's a couple of little seating areas outside this area I also put a table in but it changes in the video later on to uh, a couch and uh, one of the like poof things from City Living so I think this pack uses a lot of um, dine out, get together and city living stuff. I'm not sure if there's other packs in there that possibly are, but I can't really remember. Um, so obviously I'd use get together stuff to make a cafe because that's where the cafe stuff came in. And then the dine out stuff is just very suiting for that. And the city living things sort of just fitted in with the style that I wanted to go for. So that's why I use those packs. So if you don't have those packs, sorry. But uh, I'm sure if you downloaded it, it would just replace the items with other ones. Um, so you could still try and use it if you wanted to. Uh, there's lots of colour changing going on, but I do stick with sort of a green and yellow with some hints of teal, I think, as well, throughout. That's like the theme I go for. I put these lights up at the top and then I don't like them, so I move them down in a bit. And I keep changing the different lantern types. These are the lights that came with City Living. We go for those ones, the pink ones in the end, but we change it to a green and yellow scheme to suit. And uh, I move them down off the roof because I just didn't like the way it looked. I think it was just a bit too chaotic up there. So we get rid of that and there's like more plant life up there later on. And a couple of uh, sort of like floor spotlights and candles on the tables to add the light up there that you might need. You can add more lights if you want to, obviously. Um, there is a woohoo bush out the front which moves to the back and again throughout this build there is one at the front, um, sort of just in front of where that fair four-seater table is that sticks out at the front, but I change it because when I tried to do the gallery screenshot of like uploading the build, it looked horrible with that there because you couldn't see anything, so I got rid of it. Uh, oh, here's backyard stuff. My bad. I didn't remember that I put that in. But yes, I use backyard stuff lights here. If you download it, I'm sure they'll just like poof, disappear and get deleted if you don't have the pack. But I thought it looked cute. I quite like the way it uh, sort of looked like little fairy lights that they just strung, bleh, strung up there themselves. And these look like little paper lantern type things that they could have just like made themselves or little jar lights that they could have made themselves. Which is quite uh, cool. The idea that I was going for, obviously, is it's a container that's been repurposed. So the 
side paint and stuff and the inside is all going to look very industrial and a bit grungy and the roof area like seating area has the uh, corrugated metal uh, roof as well because you can put it on flat roofs so I just put that because it looked right and then the flooring on the inside of the building I changed to the floorboards that look sort of like they're under floorboards like underlay for like when you're gonna put nicer stuff on top like you know nice uh, laminate floorboards or whatever on top so because uh, I wanted to look like as I said like repurposed stuff and there's like those little um, lights that sort of look like you got them off a farm or something those little hanging down ones thought they were cool I figured out that I overlit this place so some of the lights on the inside have to be changed because it was just too bright and everything was just blinding when you went in there uh, the roof also extends a bit in a while because I add in some toilets where those bins are instead on the lower floor which then gives me a little bit of extra space on the rooftop area so I add um, a couch and that fireplace which is in the coffee table on top of there it looks quite cool quite legged um, the area that sticks out the side gets um, oh what's it called sort of like a living wall is kind of what I was going for so there's like a wall where those two la -la 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 columns are in between that and I just put a load of plants in and some fairy lights within the plants and then use the like I don't even know what it's called but when you're able to make your own archways with columns and the trellisy thingy that goes over it, I have no idea what I'm saying. I should probably learn some architectural things. But when you do that, uh, the wall disappears. But whatever was on the wall sometimes can like float there and it looks quite cool. So that's the thing that I did there. I used the glass like laddery thingies with those flower boxes there to look sort of like they are suspending the corrugated roof section up. Because I just thought, you know, it wouldn't just like float. <laughs> but in the picture that I was sort of getting inspiration from on Pinterest, it had like metal bars in the corners there, which were holding it up. They didn't have like columns at the front, it was just big metal bars that were like propping it up. Uh, so that's sort of the best I could find that looked nice. So that's what I went with. And it sort of like went with the whole gardeny growing theme that I wanted. I added in this drain pipe just because thought, you know, drainage is important and I never add them, but it adds a little bit of, you know, extra realism. There's a little grid at the bottom there, which also came with City Living, I think. So yeah, uh, this place does function quite well. I actually had my sim test it, which you'll see in the screenshots later on. I had, well, I say my sim, it's actually so my boyfriend made and uh, I had to go and have a coffee with um, Salim from City Living to see if it worked and it worked quite well. People were using all the different areas, they were using all the different seating areas, they were going up onto the roof and using the bar and things. It worked really well, it was dead cool, I quite liked it and there weren't any pathing issues that I'm aware of so if there are, sorry, <laughs> but I couldn't find any when I was playing in it. Um, and yeah, this is my first ever commercial build, I forgot to mention that so I'm quite excited, I've never done that before. and. Uh, I've just never been brave enough to try. I know this is very, very tiny, uh, but you start off small and I'll learn and I'll make them bigger eventually, but I just wanted to make this because that was quite cool. I know I do a container home as well in the next couple of days, but uh, I'm looking into uh, getting a better computer because my one needs to be able to also run editing and Photoshop software now since I'm going to get rid of my Mac because it's just useless and broken all the time so I'm trading that in and going to get a better gaming PC which can do all the things and then I only have to have one computer and I don't have to have two and keep switching between them which is very irritating. This is the woohoo bush in question which I get rid of um, and then there's one at the back instead because when I was picking out the items where um, to make it a cafe obviously I had to have toilets and that classed as a toilet and I didn't want to just put random toilets on the build whilst I was like building it so I just put that out there to get rid of the like warning you haven't got all the item sign and um there are actual toilets in there though but I just kept the woohoo bush because I thought you know it's nice plant and it's funny and then this also has a woohoo spot why not you know when you're out at a cafe had a few drinks on the rooftop go a bit wild uh, there's another woohoo bush we get rid of that one too we get rid of both of them because they're just it's just too much clutter I need to work on my landscaping it's um, a little bit all over the place I feel like in Oasis Springs it's a little bit harder with landscaping as well because it's deserty so I was trying to keep it like desert plants so it didn't look out of place 
but uh, yeah, I should have looked around more and I should have seen like the cat's tails and some of like the daisies and stuff that they've used, but I just went with a little bit more of a oasis-y type vibe with what I've done and I was figuring out which music I wanted. I think I went for easy listening in the end because I like that station. I believe it's got some of um, the Sims 1 music in, which is possibly why I like it. I can't remember if it's that one. I know that, um, the Digi Tunes one uh, does, but I think that one also does. I think that's easy listening also has some of the old music. So that's cool. I added in that little neon light because the little palm tree was cute. And I thought it went well with uh, the little bar type idea upstairs. And uh, sort of the collected items was another look I was going for with the crates and the little uh, like fruit veg sign things there and I wanted to put a bookcase in because I thought you know when you're here it'd be quite cool to be able to like read books and stuff and I always like those ideas of like community book places there's um this place near where I live and it's a park and it's like a rooftop park type thing on top of a big shopping centre but it's got these like fake little trees in there and within these little like crevices of the trees there's like books so people can like donate books to the tree or you can like take a book and but you have to like replace it with a book sort of thing so I like that little idea that's quite cute so that's the kind of thing I was going for with this where like people could bring in old books that they don't want and then other people can have a read whilst they're like having their coffee or whatever just a little idea this is the seating area which evolves a lot <laughs> um, I get rid of those two chairs because I do not like them and I was trying to fit in a coffee table, it just didn't work. Eventually I go with the black, white and yellow sofa, which I think came with Get Together. I could be wrong, we'll see in a second. It's this one, basically what we've got now, that colour swatch, but in the couch rather than in the chairs. And I can't remember what it comes with. And then using Move Objects On with uh, one of the pedestals that came with Get To Work, which I think I use a few items from Get To Work in here as well. Um, then I was making, blah, 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 I can't think of what I'm trying to say. I made a coffee table uh, with the pedestals. I sort of made a star flowery shape with it because it looks quite cool. I used these dividers to add a little bit of a nice back wall there. That was quite nice. It's a very cute little seating area. It's actually probably my favourite area of the build. Uh, this is where the pedestal bit comes in. But um, it doesn't quite work with my original plan of that would be a shutter area that you could like lift up. So I've made it basically that there's a shutter that you can pull across at the side there like which is open and you block that off so people can't rob your things so sort of was the idea that I've gone with now um but yeah I'm quite proud of this little build it's quite cute I'll probably use it a fair bit in some of my other like let's plays and gameplay and stuff I think it'll be quite fun this area where this table is is where we put the bar in the end but you don't see me do that on camera and you don't see it in screenshots till the very last one so if you're very interested in seeing what it looks like with a bar at night time um, wait for that screenshot or just skip to the end and you can see that screenshot and uh, here I was adding graffiti to make it sort of look like you know it's a repurposed container it's had a bit of abuse over time and they've just given it a bit of love and re like given it new life kind of thing because I love that idea that's sort of my uh, what I'm setting up my own business to do is repurposing old furniture type stuff so I quite like all of that thing which is um kind of why I wanted the starter home pack to win as I mentioned in the last video because um I like the idea of the yard sales and stuff I thought that was really cool and the only reason I wanted the arcade one was because I like the social idea of like more stuff for sims to do together but the eco one will be pretty awesome because that obviously has a, a similar vibe of like using things like recycling things keeping things like held like I don't know, try, try what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sorry. Um, repurposing stuff, that kind of thing. That's what I was trying to say. That sort of vibe. I really love that from the movie hangout stuff. There is random items I'm just realising now from all different packs, but I just love that one from the movie hangout stuff. The little elephant like plant holder thing and the little succulents on top of the books. It's like my favourite plant, so I put that in because I think it's adorable. These are the beginning of the toilets, which I move to attach to the building because I didn't like where they were. It just looked a bit weird having it disjointed, but I've put um, columns everywhere to try and make it look like a smaller container that has been like welded on to the bigger container to make the bathrooms and stuff. And yeah, there's just two little bathrooms. I made them just like non-gender specific because it's just easier than having like one of each and then Sims peeing themselves or peeing in the bush which won't be very nice either to have outside of your cafe 
Good thing it's at the back though, so not many people will probably be back there getting that. Um, I also realised that the bit that, like the little seating area at the side there with the dividers and things kind of blocks the walkway to the stairs, but I thought maybe it's like the stairs, like the rooftop area, it's sort of, um, like I watched this program recently and then um, it was like cafes and restaurants where they've got like secret areas and obviously it's not secret because you can see that there's a rooftop thing, but it's sort of like people who go there a lot will be like more used to the idea of like walking around the back and going upstairs because they'll know that that area is up there and sort of things and then people can like discover it kind of thing and go up there and there's the seating area with the fireplace coffee table thing which goes well with the bar when I put that up there it like makes more sense to have a little chilled out area you could totally repurpose this and just make it into a, like a little nightclub bar thing if you wanted to I might do a version of my own where I do that and upload that to the gallery as well obviously I won't do a video of it because it'll just be renovating this slightly but yeah, that'd be a pretty cool idea, doing um, container builds where it's like all different things, so like different little shops and bars. And uh, we're at the end of the video, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like or comment down below. Let me know what you think, let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys!